We want as much as anything for social justice to take the center stage because poverty, racism, they actually they have actually bigger killers than coronavirus by the statistics. So this is the right thing to do. I was out with, with other physicians and nurses in Seattle over the weekend where we had a Doctors for Justice march. And what were we doing? We we're passing out masks. We we're making sure if you didn't have a mask and you had a megaphone, you were protected. Masks all the time. Social distancing as you can do it. I will say we should all be expected that cases are going to rise. Well, so much for social distancing. This weekend, we saw massive crowds gather nationwide, protesting the death of George Floyd. And despite weeks of warning people about the dangers of not keeping six feet apart, public health officials are now saying social justice matters more than social distancing and are actually encouraging people to join protests. Some questions this morning about why people can protest in large groups, but not pray or sunbathe for that matter. Another night. And another show of outrage on America's streets. Protesters' principles on display as a pandemic deepens. The racism thing is going to take a long time to address that. And it's understandable people's impatience. I'm certainly impatient about it. But I also am concerned about the public health issues. Then they told us, don't wear a mask, don't worry about it. Then they said, you better wear a mask, we're not going to serve you. Now it's asymptomatic. You might have it, you might not have it. You don't know. Don't move. Stay indoors. What are we to believe at this point? The politicians <laughs> lied to us. You now realize that as long as your uh, political views uh, are shared by the media, you can do just about anything. If you don't wear a mask, you're being very selfish. You're not protecting yourself. It's not about how strong you think you are. It's how unconcerned you are about what you might spread to someone else. A 99% survival rate and you're all wearing masks like sheep. For weeks, an ugly battle has been brewing over wearing masks in public. Today, New York's governor signing an executive order. We're giving the store owners the right to say, if you're not wearing a mask, you can't come in. Well, the city of Los Angeles now requires all citizens to wear masks, even when they go outside. There is no scientific evidence whatsoever that forcing people to wear masks outside prevents the spread of disease. None. No evidence. But whatever, the mayor commands it, he's God now, you have to. Tonight, he once again mocked the man running against him, former Vice President Biden, for wearing a mask in public. Biden can wear a mask, but he was standing uh, outside with his wife, perfect conditions, perfect weather. They're inside, they don't wear masks, and so I thought it was very unusual that he had one on. But I thought that was fine. I wasn't criticizing him at all. Why would I ever do a thing like that? The criticism that Donald Trump amplified yesterday seemed to be that it didn't look cool on Joe Biden. Is that really where we are, that it doesn't look good to wear a mask? Is it about vanity? Donald Trump obviously has told many people that he thinks it's a sign of weakness, that he thinks it projects, the mask projects to the country that there's some panic, there's some concern. 